How's going on everybody? In this video, we are going to learn how you can deploy a deep learning model onto the uh, HTML web page. So we are going to use Flask framework and Python language and your model obviously. Now as far as your model is on the basically for image predictions, so you can uh, just follow along with this video where as if your model is uh, basically of making the prediction from form based or array based then you may just check out my another video which is already on uh, already on my youtube channel i will link it in down description or in that i button so you may just check it out from there so basically in this video we are going to create this web page and uh, whatever model you have just select the image and click on this uh, predict button and it is going to predict whatever your model going to predict so we are going to deploy that so let's start all right so i will create a new folder so that uh, you may just all uh, start from the same point so we'll say deploy and i'll just open this and in this first of all we have to create a new file let us call this file app.py uh, as far as uh, conventional everyone just follow along uh, app.py so we will just also follow the conventions so we'll call it uh, app.py and make sure you have flask installed so you can just say pip install flask for installing the flask in your pc now mine is already installed so i'm not going to do that so let's just open this code in sublime text editor all right so we are in the sublime text editor let's just uh, first of all you have to okay so uh, first of all uh, in this specific chapter of this video we are going to learn about basics of flask if you already familiar with the basics you may just uh, proceed to the next chapter but i will going to highly recommend you if you know zero about flask you may just follow along with this chapter so first of all we'll say from flask import flask so we are basically importing the flask class so we we have to instantiate this flask variable so we'll say app is equals to flask and in this you just have to pass dunder name underscore underscore name and uh, we are going to say if underscore name is equals to underscore main then we are going to say app dot run and in this we'll just set a very uh, parameter debug is equals to true uh, what does this mean whenever we get any error into our app this will going to show us through the web page whatever which line is giving us the error so it is going to be really useful if you are developing it in the initial phases so let's just uh, if we just save this and run it like this nothing will going to happen unless we specify a route so in a bit you will come to know what uh, what this route mean but first let's just define our route so basically we are defining our route at index or home location so let's just say this uh, index and it is it is going to return the html code so for a uh, simple purpose let's just say return hello this will be the html code and this will be returned by this index uh, function and this is the home route or index route or the base route of our um, application so let's just open the terminal and run this app so we'll say python app.py so if we click um, uh, come to this http 127.0 control and click on this it is going to open uh, this web page for us something over here and you can see that it says hello and this is something which we have returned so if we change something from over here hello hello to hello world and if we refresh this and you can see that we got the hello world as an example okay so now let's just move one step further and instead of just writing code in the return statement let us just write the code in a separate html file and we will load that html file whenever this base route is called okay so for that purpose you have to create a new folder make sure the name of the folder is templates and in that let's just create a new document and let us call this index.html you can call it whatever you want to let's just open this and in this let's just define basic html and uh, title and in the base let's just say welcome to so in the base uh, we'll in the index.html we'll say welcome to model deployment and we'll come back to app.py and we will import one more thing which is render template so uh, you have to import render template from the flask and instead of returning hello world we'll say return render template and we have to return index.html 
okay so let's just save this and try to run this once again let's just close this and run this okay so over here it says welcome to model deployment so this was it how you can just render the template which means render the index.html and one one last thing i would like to show you is passing in the data from this app.py to the html page it would be really awesome so now you can just give the name whatever you want to let's just give the name data to the data variable and let's just say this is um hey okay so data is hey now if you want to use this uh, data to in this index.html what you can do is just use this double curly braces and pass in the name of data variable whatever name you specified over here so let us save this and run this again and if i now refresh this then you can see that over here it says hey since we have printed in the html page right all right so this was it how you can just follow along with the basic flask code and now i'm going to show you what does this route mean so basically let's just define one more route to explain you this so let's just call this route prediction okay and in this let's just define a function let's say prediction just you don't get confused and in this let's just say return and simply we'll say welcome to prediction okay so if we now save this and run this once again and come back to this uh, browser and refresh this then this is the base path if you come to this url and press slash prediction and run this and it will say welcome to prediction if we pass anything else other than prediction then it will going to say not found which means 404 and this was about uh, routes okay so i hope this should be clear now what we are doing over here over here so now we'll just okay define one more page one for index and other for the prediction web page all right so this is the prediction.html let's just open this over here and that is it so that was all about the basics of flask and i hope you have understood the basics of flask now we will just deploy our model so for this video i am going to deploy resnet model and i hope this should cover up basically everything so so let's start so you can just follow this uh, basically same steps if your model is other than uh, resnet so, okay so first of all in the index.html we'll create a basic form over here okay so we'll create a basic form over here so we'll say form now this form will going to allow us to select the file so we are going to use input field and input first input field would be file and give this name let's say img and the second field would be submit button obviously and we'll say this submit and let's say button and in the form action meaning when whenever the submit button has been pressed whatever going to happen will uh, this is going to take us to the prediction route okay so we'll say action is equals to prediction so save this and also we'll give the method to this let's say method is equals to post now you can choose from get or post let's just use post get means whatever data has been transferred will going to appear in this url wherever we choose post nothing will going to uh, show shown in the url tab okay so that was about method and one more thing you have to give is encoding type and it is going to be multi-part form data okay so encoding type will be multi-part form data and uh, let us just basically save this and run this again see if we get any error or not so i'll just refresh this and you can see that a new form will appear over here and if we click on browse this is going to open this new window and you can just select wherever the image has been located in your pc and now let's just choose this image and click on submit query and it says method not allowed the method is not allowed for the requested url and on this tab you can see that it is slash prediction okay so basically the error is due to we didn't specified any method 
in the app.py slash prediction route so you have to give the methods as post so let's just save this and run this again so let's refresh and select the image and hit on submit query and you can see that it says welcome to prediction it means the image or uh, the image has been sent from one form to another route so it means we are good to go now so we will just test this by saving the image so first of all we have to request for the image into this app.py so you are going to learn now how you can transfer the image from index.html to the app.py so for that purpose you have to import request module from the flask and we'll say img is equals to request dot files and this is going to be a dictionary and you have to give the key of the name of this uh, input field in this case it's img so we'll give this img and if we save this and we'll save the image let's say img dot save and we'll save by name uh, let's say img dot jpg it's simple okay so let's save this and run this once again and see if it works or not so it is running and go to index.html and hit refresh browse for image select image hit submit and if we go to the directory same directory the image should be saved and as you can see the image has been saved over here okay okay so now uh, our most of the work has been now completed now what left is just making the prediction so as i said we are going to use resnet model so i'm going to import it from keras dot applications import resnet 50 so we are going to use resnet 50 where as if wherever if you are using your own model you can just load your model however you have saved it if you have saved using keras dot model or save then you can just keras dot models dot load model you can just do it by that so however you just saved your model just load your model so in this case it is something like this so we'll say resnet resnet is equals to resnet and we'll print a statement say model is loaded also we'll just specify some properties wait we will choose weight from image net and input shape is this and pooling is equals to average all right so in this way our model will be loaded and one more thing uh, we have this labels.txt if you are known by the fact that resnet make the prediction from 1000 classes so obviously we need label for that and over here it is the label but we'll use it later on but for now we'll we'll just load our model and make the prediction so we'll say image is equals to cv2 dot read and we have to read img dot jpg now why i'm just saving and reading it once again just to convert it to array numpy array now uh, obviously there would be more than one ways to do this but i just like this way and we'll read the image now we'll just apply the transformations whatever transformations are required by the image or by the model okay so these are the transformations our model required first of all we have to convert our image to rgb format and then resize the image to 224 by, uh, 224 by 224 and reshape that array to 1 comma 224 comma 224 comma 3 okay so this was it now we'll just capture the prediction so we'll say pred is equals to resnet.predict resnet.predict and in this we will pass the image and also there will be the prediction for 1000 classes so we'll just capture the max one so we'll say np.argmax and in this we'll pass prediction all right so this will be the prediction and we'll just pass this prediction to the next page and i have already shown you how you can do that in the basic part so we'll say render template so return render template and in this we'll just return prediction.html prediction.html and data would be the prediction part okay so now we'll come to our prediction.html we haven't done anything over here but in a bit we'll just do everything and this will be the prediction page and in the we'll come in the body part let's just give this center okay so this will be the prediction part and now we'll say h3 okay so we'll say welcome to prediction and prediction is uh, data because 
data is over here so now let us just save this and run this once again to see if everything is working fine or not so we'll just run this and we'll wait and it says model is loaded and it is now running let's just go to index and run this select the image of doc.jpg doc hit submit query and it says cv2 is not defined obviously we have to import it import cv2 and import numpy let us save this and run this once again let us select the image hit submit and it says prediction is 180 and let us just open the labels.txt and see what is 180 okay so 180 is this this type of dog breed of dog i guess so now what we'll do we'll just open the uh, load the labels.txt into our app.py file so we'll use pandas for that purpose import pandas as pd and we'll say labels labels equals to pd dot read csv in this we'll pass labels dot txt and separator would be slash n and we'll just convert this to numpy array by saying dot values instead of data frame and we'll come over here and say prid is equals to labels and in this we'll pass the index of prid and one thing is that we have to take labels.txt from here to here so yeah that is it let us let us run this once again and see if it works or not so it says model is loaded let's refresh this and select the image of this and hit submit query and it says prediction is uh, this dog badlington terrier right okay so that would be due to uh, just some type of index mismatch but that is not the main concern the main concern was to deploy the model onto the web page using html python and flask framework and that is is what we have done in this video and i hope now you would be able to deploy your model onto the web page but still if you have any type of queries you may just ask them in down comment section and i hope i should end this video right here and that was all about actually how you can deploy your model onto the web page it is really simple so with this said i would just like to end this video right here i'll capture you in the next video